YouTube, Matt Guy reports here. Give me an update on the new Magic Mouse from Apple. I gotta say that I got the opportunity today to go ahead and uh, take a look at this and use it a little bit at the Apple Store. Actually, it was a really cool product. I thought um, one of the things that you notice right from the beginning, or may not notice so much, it stands out. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any buttons. It doesn't actually click. It uses the uh, the surfaces very similar to that of an iPhone, or if you have a MacBook or or MacBook Pro, uh, I should say, and even the MacBook now, they have the multi-touch surface pad or trackpad that allows you to do some gestures on it. It allows the same for the same thing. Doesn't support all the gestures like you can't do the pinch and squeeze, which at this point, uh, I'd, I'd like it to see it there, um, but it, it doesn't support it at this point. However, um, one of the things that it does support that the Magic, or, or excuse me, the Mighty Mouse didn't support is the uh, capability to allow you to travel back and forth in a web page. Um, so if you were to do a two finger swipe, um, and here is that gesture here, um, if you were to do a two finger swipe going back, that would allow you to go back that page that next page or if you're on using iTunes or anything with cover flow or anything like that that will actually you know go back and forth through your uh, selection um, but that being said that that's a you know a cool thing that you, you didn't have you know before other than that it really doesn't add any new functionality I am interested in this mouse because with the mighty mouse I'm a person that's in the games I'm a gamer um, and I run Windows on using you know fusion uh, but at any rate um one of the things that well, my complaint is, yes, you can right click with the mighty mouse, but it isn't very accurate when it's, it's something that you kind of got to get just right. You know, it might take me three times to get it right when the gaming situation. Um, that being said, uh, going with this one, uh, because it is a multi-touch surface and it doesn't use a sensor the way the, the mighty mouse did, I'm hoping that it would actually do a lot better of a job of recognizing when I right click. Uh, but that, of course, by default, it is and it is not enabled. You have to go in there and uh, uh, enable it through, through the um, system preferences. But that's not a big deal. Um, so yes, uh, the price point came down, which is good. Which Again, I always jump the gun, it seems like, but I end up buying uh, the Mighty Mouse. I have a MacBook Pro. I end up buying a Mighty Mouse probably, I don't know, a month ago or so uh, because when I'm running multiple monitors and it just seems to be easier with the, if I use an external keyboard mouse. So anyway, um, so I'm going to have the Magic Mouse and I'm going to have the uh, Multi Mouse uh, or... <laughs> The Magic Mouse and the the old one, which is the Mighty Mouse, I should say. Um, anyway, uh, that being said, uh, all in all, it is a cool mouse. The only thing that I didn't like was the feel of it right at the beginning. Um, it felt a little odd to me, uh, it, and my hand didn't feel you know as comfortable. But neither does the Mighty Mouse. Honestly, the Mighty Mouse doesn't feel real comfortable to me. Um, but I got used to the Mighty Mouse, and I'm probably going to get used to this one as well. So. Um, and that being said, that is my opinion, my little update on what's going on, you know, with the uh, Magic Mouse. So hopefully, guys, if you like these type of videos, I will continue to do them, give you some, you know, just simple updates. Go ahead and subscribe to the videos. Um, go ahead and click the button now. It's a good thing. Um, and also, you know, rate it. Uh, I definitely appreciate to get the, the ratings and all. So it's Matt Guy Reports. I am signing off. I'll talk to you real soon here.